This hourly segment is brought to you by Art Plus and this weekend's Autumn Art and Craft Fair at Stratford Square Mall on Gary Avenue, just north of Army Trail Road in Bloomingdale. The Rush is on. 11 a.m. weekday mornings. Connect with Rush on News Talk 890 WLS. It's 8.40, 20 minutes to 9 with Don Wade and Roma. Back to the CIA leak and the facts on this thing, because you've got to know the facts. There is so much spin going on here. It's, it's really hard to get through all of the underbrush and the overgrown and all of the... I mean, it's a swampland. Uh, all the spin that's going on, is, it makes it very difficult to get at the facts. But so far, let's... let's uh, th there is the um, uh, Robert Novak column that is in the Sun-Times today. If you read that column, you understand a lot of what's going on. For instance, uh, how big a secret was it that Joe Wilson, the guy who had gone off on this mission for the CIA, uh, that his wife was a CIA uh, employee? How big a secret was that? Well, it was very well known around Washington that Joe Wilson's wife worked for the CIA. There were people who wrote in the National Review online who had been told of her identity by a non-government source before Novak's column appeared and that it was common knowledge. Her name was no secret either. It had appeared in Joe Wilson's Who's Who in America entry. It wasn't a That's big... That's his own bio, yeah. It's his own bio. So there's no big secret. Um... Let me go to what happened on Nightline last night, because it is so revealing. Uh, now, understand, Joe Wilson was an, an ambassador to Iraq for Bill Clinton. He worked in the National Security Administration for Bill Clinton. He tells Ted Koppel, and I'm going to reduce this down to one soundbite I'm going to play for you. He tells Ted Koppel that he was skeptical of the report by the British that Saddam Hussein had tried to buy uranium from Niger. Okay? Now, he goes to Niger to talk to the U.S. ambassador there, that's a woman, and now let me play the tape, because this is where Ted asks about the, what happened. The, this is the investigation that, that uh, Joe Wilson supposedly did to find out the truth. Okay, so here's uh, Ted and Joe Wilson. I don't know why I know this. She told you I, I've already investigated. That's right. And what had she found? She had found uh, that there was nothing to the story. And she had investigated through her official channels. She had make, made official representations to the president uh, of the countries and others. So she had what uh, the administration later called the official denial. They attributed that denial to me, but she is the one who obtained the official denial. And in addition then... to that, she also said that uh, there had been a four-star Marine Corps general who had also come down to Niger, and that he had either been in separate meetings or been with her in meetings, and he had heard um, the same thing that she had heard, and he had drawn the same conclusions that she had, that there was nothing to this story. And this information had been passed back through channels to Washington? That's right. In both cases? That's correct. At the end of that, you did what? Before I left, I briefed the ambassador. I also briefed somebody else at the mission of what I had found, uh, which essentially tracked with what she had found. Look, listen to what he said. He says he goes to Niger purportedly to do an investigation. He talks to the American ambassador there, a woman, and she says, well, I've talked to the uh, Niger officials, and they say, no, no, there's nothing to that story. He meets with the same officials, and they deny any deal with Saddam Hussein to sell him any uranium. And he comes back to the United States, and, and, and here's his report. There's nothing to it. You know, this assumes something not asked or noted by Ted Koppel. Ted Koppel didn't do a follow-up. The follow-up question is about the, that sale of uranium to Saddam Hussein would be illegal. It would be a violation of the UN resolutions. So when you ask the Niger president and other officials, are you selling uranium to Saddam Hussein? What do you suppose their answer is going to be? Oh no, 
We're not selling anything to him because that would be against the law. We, of course, would not do that. And so you wipe your hands or and, and you go back to your country and say, I did an investigation and there's no truth to that. That's the basis of his investigation. So these officials deny and he says, well, that must be the truth because they said it's not true. That's an investigation. He comes back with these denials, goes public, and tries to undercut British intelligence and the President of the United States. Now, what kind of a person is Joe Wilson? Listen to this. Whether this is a partisan, political, agenda-driven guy, what would you think of somebody... What would you think of somebody who tells people around Washington, D.C., as Mr. Wilson did just last week? Quote... Neoconservatives and religious conservatives have hijacked this administration, and I consider myself on a personal mission to destroy both. Sounds pretty ugly. And a little bit at odds with the reasonable image that Mr. Wilson has been projecting on our TV screens in the last few days. You know, he swore that he was going to see Karl Rove let out of that White House in handcuffs. Now he says he got a little, hand, a little carried away by passion, and he has no evidence that Mr. Rove was involved. Ah, that's really interesting. Uh, so, Mr. Well, Wilson they... stated, let me finish here, Mr. Wilson stated, whoever leaked that comment about my wife did it very clearly to smear my good name and my wife's good name. Unquote. Which is really interesting because he didn't seem to have any compunction about smearing Karl Rove's good name without any evidence. That's the kind of person we're dealing with. So start with that guy who has a political agenda, run it through the normal course. This story has been out there for many, many months. And carry that to... Charlie Schumer and a few others, Nancy Pelosi, who see blood in the water and they say, ooh, ooh, it's a story. Don, you should welcome and, this. And then put it into the hands of the, uh, the media who just love to carry water for the liberal point of view, wherever it is, and what we have is this lead story. So there are the facts. That's what's really going on. Don't be fooled. All right. There's well, a lot I think the investigation is going to tell us everything we need to know. Oh, there should be an because investigation. Because now it's all, so much dust has been kicked up by all the sides that... <laughs> We, nobody will know until they investigate. The president so they, of the United States. Can we play uh, play George Bush again? The president. Now Terry Moran tried to tried to frame this very strangely last night. He said, "Oh, the president chose his words very carefully, Peter." Uh, on, did you see that on the report? He chose his words very carefully, uh, Peter. Well, I didn't think that the, they were so carefully chosen. I think it was pretty point blank. I mean, I don't know how carefully the words, I want to know who the, the leakers are. How careful is that? Listen to the president. I don't know of anybody in my administration who leaked classified information. If somebody did leak classified information, I'd like to know it. And we'll take the appropriate action. And uh, this investigation is a good thing. Yeah, I, th that's pretty clear. A lot of spin going on. Careful. A lot of noise, a lot of smoke, a lot of mirrors, but there it is. Okay? I think everybody's getting far too worked up. Let's just see how it plays out. So we're back to investigating. Hey, Capitol Hill can't work without it. You've got to have those. Just got to have those. Yeah, it is... Um it is 11 until 9 at WLS.